Hey folks, welcome to the studio. Today, let's learn how to make a seamless Instagram carousel right here in PowerPoint. First, let's have a look at our existing PowerPoint design and then talk about how to prepare our workspace. So as you can see, this is how our PowerPoint file needs to look. Now let's go into editing mode and make sure our thumbnails are extended to give us a clear preview of how the design will look. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be designing our Instagram post in portrait mode. According to Instagram, the ideal size of the portrait mode is 1080 pixels wide by 1350 pixels high. So let's start our design by adjusting our PowerPoint size. We begin by opening a blank presentation. Clean the layout and then go to design. At design you'll see the slide size drop down and go to custom slide size. Over here we see the width and height given. Now in the width, what you need to do is type in 1080 space px and in the height 1350 space px. What PowerPoint does is it automatically converts pixels into the necessary centimeters. Maximize size and here we have the perfect pixel ratio for our project. Let's start by creating a nice background for our design. Now in the original design I have used a grey gradient along with this triangular element. So I will copy both of these over to our new design. Paste them here. Now as you can see these are two separate elements. For purposes of convenience, select both elements and group them. Now it's time to bring our main element in. Select this transparent image, bring it onto your presentation. Make sure the image is going over the edge and into what will be the next slide. So we adjust it. Let's say this is a good position. Once we have our image adjusted to our liking, let's figure out how to bring it to the next slide. The first step in that is draw a box the same size as the slide. Make sure your shape outline is removed. Select your box, press shift and slowly drag it over to the outside edge of the slide. Right click and send to back. Now select the box, press control and select the image. Right click and group both elements. Copy and then paste onto the second slide. Once this is pasted, press shift again and drag the entire group so that the blue box matches the slide exactly. We can now ungroup these elements. Now that our second image is adjusted, we can delete the blue box from slide 2 and ungroup it in slide 1 and delete this as well. Now let's check if the two images actually seem seamless. On slide 2, let's go to Transitions and add the Push Transition. Then go to Effect Options and Push from Right. Let's go into Slideshow Mode and check it out. So as you can see, the image 
is perfectly seamless from one slide to the next. The next thing we need to do is replicate the background from slide 1. So let's go and select the background which we had grouped earlier. Copy this and paste it to slide 2. Right click on the group and send it to back. Now let's have another look in slideshow mode. As you can see, the two backgrounds do not look seamless. So on slide 2, let's select our background, go to the Home tab, Arrange, Rotate and click on Flip Horizontal. Now let's take another look. And here you see the background seem to match perfectly. So let's bring in the other elements to round out our Instagram ad. As we can see here, we have some textual elements and a few other graphical elements. So I will copy the text, Control C, and bring it on to our new design paste the text here. Now as an additional little trick, we can select the image, right click and bring to front and here you can see it overlays the text adding a little depth effect. Similarly, we can copy the other elements over. Once again, Click on the image and bring it to front to create this depth effect. And here we have our first Instagram ad ready. Now let's take a look at how to create a seamless panoramic image. Let's start by creating a new slide. Once you have done this, just like previously, Let's create a box that covers our slide and remove the shape outline. Press shift and drag the box to the outside edge of the slide. We can now bring our image here. Once your image is pasted, align the image to the top of your slide, press shift and drag your image so that it meets the outside edge of the box we created. You may have to crop your image to make it fit perfectly. Once this is done, we can also add text to the image. So, we type the city's name Vancouver in this instance, select the font we want, Increase the size to fit the image properly. Depending on the image, you can select your font color. Once this is done, we right click on the image and send it to back. Then select everything on your slide and group it. Then right click on your thumbnail and duplicate slide. Now on the second slide, select your group and drag it so that the blue box now fits the slide exactly. Quite simple, we can now ungroup both the slides as well as delete the boxes. All that's left to do on the second slide is add the push transition to make sure our image is moving seamlessly. And there, let's take a look in slideshow mode. Perfect! Once we've finished editing our images, we now need to export them from PowerPoint to a format Instagram will recognize. 
So quite simply, go to the File tab, click on Save As, choose a folder. In the Save As Types, the drop-down menu will give you the option of JPEG. Click on that, click Save, and click on All Slides. PowerPoint has now exported your slides into JPEG images. We can go to the folder and check our images properly. So, as you can see, they've been made in the exact size that Instagram requires. Let's right-click and check the info once. And here you can see the dimensions are exactly as we need them. So now you know how to create amazing images for your Instagram feed. Alrighty then, remember to keep on creating and see you next time.